This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy III for the NES. Alright, we need to head to the Nepto Shrine, but I wanted to just do a little bit more fighting here to get one more level before we head on. It shouldn't take too long, I think I only need three or four fights, hopefully. And everybody using Bolt should take care of these guys pretty easily. These guys can still do quite a bit of damage to us when they do hit, so... I want to be a little bit careful, I guess. Okay, a couple skills up. I also wanted to um, check so I can notice when I go up a level how much magic points I'm going to get. We're at 12, 4, and 2. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the same for... The same for all of our characters right now. Kind of a nice tune, um, nice song they got playing when we're on the ship. Since there's only two of them, I'll try to save some bolt spells. Just in case I need more fights out here than I thought. We'll go back to replenish our HP and MP before I head on, after we get that level up anyway. And if you forgot or weren't um, watching the last part, we do have the ship, so I could sail out, but if you try to, you're going to run into a boss that you could possibly beat, but it's really going to take a long time, so not really worth it. I think a bolt will take care of these guys, if I remember right. Alright, there we go. That should be a decent fight for experience. Alright, we got two of them leveled up. So all he did was he just gained one level one spell, so that's not great. But I guess every little bit helps. This should be a pretty good one. And what I'm gonna do here to try to finish it off faster, since I have enough casts anyway, I'm gonna use one of my Bolt 2s on all of them, and see how that does. Yeah, the back ones will probably get taken care of anyway. Yeah, the sea elementals. Okay, I didn't know who was going to get to go first, but... Okay, yep, good enough.
All right. Let's go back and heal up. Keep thinking that's like the door to go down. I almost went there one other time, but we want to use the stairs to get back here. Now that we're ready to move on, let's drop a save before we go to the temple. And yeah, see, we are all level 10 now. Alright, we made it without getting any more battles. Alright, we're all tiny. Let's go. Entered the hole where the dragon's eye used to be. So yeah, you have to be mini to get into here. So that's why we hadn't gone back to regular size yet. This place is pretty straightforward too. You got a Lilliput. I suppose Lilliputian. That's what that is short for. I believe those were the characters from Gulliver's Travels. The, li the little people. These guys kind of look like rats. With horns? I don't know. <laughs> Fire's good enough to take them out. But yeah, see that with magic attacks? If you do attack the same guy with more than one character, you will miss with the second one. So you have to pick your targeting with them. I didn't know a single cast was going to be enough to take them out, otherwise I probably wouldn't have done that. And these guys are... Hoodie? Buddy? Um, we'll just try fire again. And we'll do it that way this time. So just in case they need a little more to finish them off. Okay. Well, he almost took him out on his own. Which means his will miss. Yeah. better heal up a little bit here. I still waste some cures spells sometimes there because, I don't know, for some reason in my mind I think I need to push the button one more time so then I accidentally use it on the first person it selects down there. So we got two holes in the floor here. I think we want to take the left one first. Because, yeah, it looks like it's a hole in the floor, but it actually is like a staircase, I guess. And this one just leads to two treasures down here. Carapace, which is a helmet. And before we can get the other one, we got four poison bats here. I think I'll try to target them all with fire with each of our guys here. And see if three of them at least is enough to take out all four guys here. I suppose I could have tried different elements to see if, like, ice worked better or something. So we should get 45 to 60 damage between the three of them. Hopefully this one will do it. No, not enough.
I'll have him stick with fire and have the other two try ice. Hopefully the first one to go takes him out anyway. But yeah, this way I can see which one's more powerful. Yeah. Looked like it was about the same as fire, so no difference. And that's a carapace armor. I would imagine those sound like they might be a job specific type of armor. I was hoping maybe if I clicked on it there it would tell me what job it can what job can equip it. I doubt we can. Yeah, no. All right, let's go back up and try for the uh, try for the other hole. Okay, there's another treasure and then another hole. Serpent sword. Yeah, I mean they're pretty sure our wizards can't equip swords at all, so I'm not even going to check. But at least we have another sword for when we switch back to a fighter eventually. I don't think there's anything else in here, really. I think just, um, we got a boss at the end. Here's another one. We got... Were rat And then the other guys we've already seen. You know, actually... I'm going to single target each of them. Because depending on the turn order, at least then we might take one of them out in one hit so they don't get to go. Okay, that's enough to get the rat too. Okay, I think this is a boss. It looks like a rat. And I don't really think I need to heal, so let's just go ahead and find out. Squeak! I won't give this gem to anyone, Squeak! And it's just this big rat. Might as well use an arrow to help out with the damage. I would imagine a rat's probably weak to fire, if anything. I don't think I've shown off fire too yet. Not that it's going to be that much different than the first one, I suppose. Ooh, he can use fire too, also. Fire does not really hurt him. Fire too did. That one did a little better. Um, I'm gonna try Bolt then. And hopefully he either doesn't attack Riddy or Reptia again, or else she gets to go first. Or maybe this will kick his ass. Oh, Fire 2 was better there. Bolt. Well, Bolt was better than Fire 1, at least. So, let's go with Bolt, too. Oh, that's right, I used up all those. Alright, well, Bolt 1. Okay, good. We got a miss. No, 
Alright, let's fight isn't going quite as smooth as some of them have gone. We get a little more of this music, though. I don't mind that. Okay, got him. Oh, really? Alright, well, now it's time to start throwing some stuff away. Honestly, it seems like everybody can equip leather, so let's get rid of the cloth stuff. Get rid of the leather shields, because I got a better one if I decide to have anybody even use a shield. Nunchuck, not using. The regular staff. And the regular knives can go, I think. And the regular bow. And I think we have enough. Well, actually, we'll wait to we'll wait to drop anything else because I might be able to make it back to the point where I can sell some of this stuff instead of just throwing it away. All right. And this is Nepto's Eye. So I think all we want to do is we got to go back to the hole in the statue where the eye was missing and then replace the eye and see what that does. I guess while I still have some arrow spells, I might as well use them. And hope we get out of here before we use up all our magic. I don't think that should be a problem. I had like seven or eight casts of level one stuff, so... And that works, too. Alright. There's just three of them, so I'll save the arrow. Alright, we're almost back. I would imagine I'll get into at least one more fight before we leave. Hmm. Well, maybe not. You must return the eye to the Sea Dragon's Nepto. Now, well, I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Was it towards the top? There it is. Put Nepto's eye in the socket. I am the sea dragon Nepto. I thank you for returning the gem to me. This gem is my mind. Without it, I am merely an animal, and I begin to go wild. Here, take this water fang. It will smash what blocks your way with the power of water. Alright, so we got a water fang in exchange for the eye. 
water has lost its light. Someone has caused an earthquake and sealed the light underground. Please, bring back the light. The sea dragon Nepto fell into a deep sleep. So... Yeah, so after we did that, now that means that the dragon that was attacking the ships won't attack anymore because we basically put him to sleep. I was kind of hoping I'd get another level going through there. But I guess that's alright. Um... I think we can go ahead and switch our jobs back. Well, actually, first, switch back to not mini anymore. I don't know, I don't think it's the last time we'll have to be mini to go through a place, but it's probably going to be the last one for a little while at least. Probably leave those two in the back row and they'll use magic or else just their attacks from the back row as I have been. And Luna can go back to being a fighter. And yeah, see, since he had leveled fighter up a little bit, it costs less to go back to it. Always, that's going to be the thing for this playthrough, I suppose. I'm always going to forget to remove all this stuff. Yeah, you want to make sure you have enough inventory space to do that. Otherwise, you can't remove everything if there's not enough space. So, another thing to keep in mind. And yeah, I still have 27 capacity points. So we should have enough to change arc back as well. Yeah, it's actually zero for him to change between Black Wizard and Monk. So, that's nice. And if you do, yeah, if you level up your jobs enough, it'll get to the point where yeah, you barely have to use capacity points for that. I appreciate that. I'm just going to make sure this is better. Alright, so, yeah. Goes from 46 up to 54 with the Serpent. And might as well give him the Carapace stuff. Make sure I got all that he can equip here. And did I have the maximum stuff for these guys? I believe I did. Yep, looks good. Um, let's manage the inventory a little here. Does that thing show up in my inventory? Yeah, it does. It's kind of a shame. <laughs> like, that was one of my gripes with Final Fantasy 2. Was that, um... The items, special items, take up a lot of inventory space.
Yeah, that's good enough. I don't think there's anything to do here other than rest up for now. I guess we can talk to these guys, see if they have anything different to say. You've got guts. Thanks. Yeah, so I suppose they're appreciative. Awesome. You guys are real heroes. As I promised, the Enterprise is now yours. Oh my god. You guys are so great. There was that old guy down here. We can go talk to him, too. Thank you, youngsters. The sea dragon Nepto has finally calmed down. Yeah, I imagine a lot of these guys are just going to say that. Now I can sleep peacefully. Okay, and we want to go back to the ship now. Um, one thing I was going to show off too, I'd mentioned before, we did get two of these midge breads, so let's use one. Can we move it? Hmm. Doesn't seem like you can. But yeah, that was our world map. And yeah, we will get a, a spell for that, apparently, too. So there are a few different places we can go on the sea now. Um, we could head north, but actually where we want to go isn't too far from here. So we'll just head straight there. I'll just use Bolt 2 on those bad guys to make sure I take them out. And hopefully my physical attackers are strong enough to take out the killer fish. Yep. Because, yeah, this is the first time I've fought these guys in the ocean here since we got um, full size again. That should be plenty, I would think. Yep. Kind of hard to tell. That looks weird, but um, that is actually a town here. So, yeah, you don't need a dock for the ship in this game. You didn't in Final Fantasy 2 either, but in the first one you did. So, yeah, we just... Um, let's head in and see what it's called. Got Taco. All right. Actually, though, we made it through the Nepto Shrine and we made it to a new place here, but I think that's actually going to be a decent place to call it for today. So we'll head in here next time and talk to whoever we find and see what items we can get and find out what we need to do next to continue the story along. But anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.